week's video. This week I'm headed down to Branson, Missouri. I'm going to go down to the fish hatchery and down to the dam. I'm going to check out how the fishing's been uh, for trout down there. I'm not going to trout fish, but I did bring a couple of fishing poles in my tackle box. I may run over to another section of Table Rock Lake to throw in a line. You never know. But I've always wanted to really walk that hatchery uh, as an adult. I did it as a kid a couple of times, but I don't really remember it. So this week's adventure is going to be down in Branson, Missouri, uh, Table Rock Dam and Hatchery. And uh, we'll see what kind of mischief we can get into. I'm in my trusty Tahoe that now has 227,000 miles. Tell you what, our goal is 450,000 miles. Knock wood, knock wood. I've only had to do minimal stuff to it. Uh, Brakes, oil changes for sure. But uh, try to take care of this thing. So I tell you what, kick back, enjoy. You know the drill. Let's go. Also, just to let you know, we are in a race with the weather today. It's 1014 right now. The rain and heavy rain and thunderstorms is supposed to be rolling in. So, I don't know if you can see the clouds off in the distance there, but something's brewing, that's for sure. We could use some rain, so it would be nice. So, I'm looking forward to it. All right. Let's get back after it. Pedal to the metal. We are going to make a little pit stop first at the neighborhood market. I've been hearing about these uh, frozen meals that you can just throw in your skillet. You don't need to add water um, or anything. They are ready to rock and roll. So we are going to go in and see if we can find them because I'm going to fix some little lunch today at the spot we're going using my little burner and a skillet that I brought. So um, let's run inside Walmart and see if we can find them. Things. They're supposedly a frozen dinner. Well, but it's in a bag. having any luck finding it or I'm looking in the wrong spots. Uh-oh, we may be onto something right here. Family size. Fettuccine broccoli alfredo. Is that it? Let me read the instructions. All right, there it is. We're totally chicken alfredo. It's gonna be a pretty good lunch. 
Ready in 12 minutes, cover and cook on medium high, 10 to 12 minutes, stirring occasionally, and then eat. That's what I'm talking about. And I need a little something to stir it with. I brought my plastic wear, but how about a 97 cent skillet? That is what I'm talking about. Now let me find a couple of drinks because it is supposed to be hot, hot, hot today. Oh, I see what I'm looking for right there. No, that isn't it. That other blue. Well, that ain't it, but I'm gonna try that one. And a regular Mountain Dew. And do they have any water? Yeah, here's some water. We'll try that. Alright, let's. In this stuff get out of here. It figures I'd grab the spatula that didn't have a UPC. So I gotta walk back here. That's better. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get back in the Tahoe. Go have some fun.
missed my turn back there, so I went ahead and came across the dam there. So we are going to turn around and go back. This is what we're looking for. Hatchery and Conservation Center. <laughs> Open Tuesday through Saturday. I do not have good lucks on good lucks. I do not have good luck on Monday. Man. Well, that's where I wanted to be. Table Rock Dam and Powerhouse, that's pretty cool. I've showed this before in one of my other videos, but I'm gonna park, run down, take a look, see. It's a gorgeous temperature in the shade. I just think that's really cool looking. So they got this cable here. I don't know if you can see the cable, but no fishing that side of it. And we're gonna go down that way farther and see who's fishing and see if they're catching anything. But check that out, isn't that cool? I love that American flag waving in the wind up there. That is amazing. All right, let's run down where the people are fishing. See if they're hit. All them birds eating that fish food down there. Definitely people down here. Let's go check this out. That water is a flow. You guys down here checking in. Well, I'm having another uh Monday incident. 
I did not know they're closed on Mondays. I need to do a better job of checking the schedules. He got him another. Star of the show. Rainbow trap. Well done, bud. Trout management area. Definitely got to follow the regulations. All brown trout less than 20 must be released. There's no length or limit on rainbow downstream from the mouth of Fall Creek. There's just some good tips for handling and releasing trout. Excellent info. Trout stream ethics. Casting in a crowd. Respect your fellow anglers. Minimize your impact on the environment. Catch and release guidelines. I haven't been down here in years. This place is super nice and well maintained. Thank you, Missouri Department of Conservation. I tell you what, I'm just down from the dam further and we're, we saw those guys fishing. <laughs> saw those guys catching, actually. And uh, 
I'm still kind of disappointed that I didn't know the hatchery was closed today. But I came up on this uh, area, I've never been here before, and it's called the Cane Break Trail. And it looks pretty cool. It's super hot today. It's going to be like 96 or even 97. Um, as a matter of fact, I am taking those off. And I am putting my regular glasses back on because this is a shaded trail. And hopefully it'll run down along the river there. And we'll see. But let's make the best of it. And remain optimistic. And have some fun. So welcome to the Cane Break Trail. It will take you along a riparian corridor. The moist, rich, deep, sandy soil allows for many bottomland species of trees and plants to flourish. Watch for huge grapevines, poison ivy, we don't want any of that, and pawpaw trees. The trail is named for Arundinaria gigantea, or cane, which is a member of the grass family. It grows in dense colonies or cane breaks along many streams in southern Missouri. The extensive root system of these colonies will hold the soil in place and prevent erosion. Young shoots of the cane plant were cooked and eaten by the early settlers. The large stems or culms were used for baskets, mats, pipe stems, and fishing poles. Although cane fishing poles are rarely used today, you will catch a glimpse of fishermen either bank fishing or wading Lake Tanicomo. The cold waters of this 22 mile lake are stocked regularly with rainbow and brown trout. Many birds use this area and are especially easy to see in winter. Be alert for brilliant red flash of male cardinal, the cheery voice of wrens, and the rat-a-tat-tat -tat of feeding woodpeckers. Look for animal dens or homes and enjoy your walk along the Ozark Waterway. Please follow the trail rules so others may enjoy their walk. Only foot travel. Do not pick the flowers. It's a wildlife refuge, so no hunting. Dogs must be on a leash and no littering. Let's go check it out. Sounds fun. And I walked through my first spider web. I think I'm just gonna shut up and uh, play a little music for you. See if I can find a good song for this part of the video.
cool. That thing was loaded with cobwebs. I don't know if you could see my stick crossing that corner. That rainbow trout right there. I hope you can see him. He's big. Look at that other one. Two of them. Man, I hope you guys can see that. Beautiful rainbow trout. Also my favorite fish to eat. Oh man, look at that one. There's the dam up there. Here come the boat. Obviously, they pulled ashore over there. Well, I tell you what, I might not have been able to go to the hatchery, but this has turned out to be a really cool adventure. Hopefully, you're enjoying it. But uh, I guess the whole moral of this video is going to be make the best out of everything. Life gives us lemons, we got to make lemonade. You've heard that before. And. Uh, Roses are beautiful, but there's always thorns in too. Check that guy. Be positive. There's lots of great things going on that world leads you to believe there isn't, but there is. Waves from the boat coming in, that's cool. Tell you what, it's about 11.30. I am kind of hungry. I think I'll go find a place and we'll cook up that uh, pasta and veggies that I got at the neighborhood market. We'll see how that works out. Let's go see if we can find a spot to eat. There's always got to be steps, but check this out. See how close I can get. Look at his wings. Those are awesome. Never seen one like that. That is super cool. All right, buddy, we'll leave you alone. cook some lunch I was going down the highway and ran across this place and it looks pretty interesting so we're gonna go check it out anglers outfitters Branson's oldest fly shop guide service that's gonna be interesting fly gear or fly fishing gear Lake Tanny Como, lake area is 2,080 acres. That's a cool picture. Look at that, could die hard. Snow on the trees. 
really my mother. You don't know about that. And then she's been in her symptoms bank. I want one of those. Now, speaking to the and the car got wrecked. Well, they issued a warrant now for the speeding ticket. Well, he didn't even know what the code name was. Hey, Polly, if you're watching, these are for you. They said they're guaranteed to catch lunkers, and you're the lunker catcher I know, so I'll give them to you when I see you again. Well, I just stopped at Table Rock Lake State Park and asked them if I could put the drone up in the air and shoot for a couple of minutes, and they said no, so. I'll real, <laughs> I will definitely respect that and uh, not do it. So I'm gonna go see if I can find a spot to cook some lunch. So we'll see what happens. All right, here we go. We are gonna have some lunch at Table Rock Lake State Park. Got my little butane burner, my skillet. Let's see if this stuff Works. I don't know if you can see my background, but it's gorgeous. So, it says throw it in. I don't have a cover, so it says you're supposed to cover it up. We're gonna move this over a little bit and let the cooler block the wind. Like that. So, we'll see what happens. to be working. We have the best conservation department in the world. But they thought they ought to mow and weed eat and then blow <laughs> right around my picnic site. So, no, I'm just joking. It looks great. They do a great job. And there is no better conservation department in the world than Missouri. I know you guys are probably jealous, but uh, I am going to admit I forgot plates, so I'm going to eat it right out of that pan here. I'm going to let it cool down a little bit, but I wish you could smell it. It smells amazing. I had to let it cook a little bit longer. 
because you're supposed to cook it covered and I didn't bring a lid but I can tell it's about done so let me test a, a noodle oh my goodness this stuff is amazing actually straight out of an Italian restaurant all right so I'm gonna kill that fire kill the heat slide that over set that down I put salt and pepper on everything so I'm gonna do it here as well put that in my pocket See how well we did. Ooh. Mm. Ooh, very hot, very hot. Yep, it's cooked, it's all tender. It's all hot to temperature, especially when the chicken in there, but um, I let it cook about 10 minutes longer. Again, because I didn't have my lid than what it called for if you had a lid, so tastes good to me. I think we're gonna end it, it end it here until I get back home and uh, we will do a, a little recap and uh, bring this video to a conclusion so um, when I get home also I'm gonna show you one more thing I got in the mail from Australia and uh, I'm excited about it you may not be but uh, it's pretty cool and it's probably something you've heard of or seen before I would say there's a good chance of it so until I get back home, thanks for watching. I'm gonna finish eating this, and then uh, we'll head back home and see you when I get there. We are back home, and uh, I hope that uh, when I get this all edited, it turned out pretty good. So um, I'm back in my uh, little square. I tell you what, I don't think I've showed you guys this yet. Um, I did a little rearranging. You wanna see it real quick? Might as well. Take a look. So, you've seen this before, so I have this little section over here in this bonus room. We call it the basement upstairs. But I have taken it and turned it into the Adventure Possible Collect-All. How about that? I try to keep it neat and clean and organized. So, I got back today and Drop the bag off, put the drone away. I'm getting ready to get all the batteries out and start charging them up. But uh, here is uh, the desk where all the editing happens and hanging out time happens. So um, nothing too fancy, but uh, it's where I hang out. So I thought we would take a few minutes now and go to the part of the show where we kind of wrap up the show. Of course, um, you guys know that uh, by what I was talking about earlier in the show, I wanted to go to the hatchery today and I didn't get to go to the hatchery and I was in a kind of a bummed out mood to be honest with you. But it was a gorgeous day, hot, very hot. Um, but 
there were still plenty of things to see even though the hatchery was closed and uh, that butterfly that I saw on those steps coming up that's when my whole day changed and I want to talk about that butterfly if you're willing to listen so what I want to kind of pass along from the video into a recap to try to give a little bit of inspiration and again try to get you to have a personal relationship with Jesus again I fail miserably every single day um, everybody will but let's go to the word the Bible we'll talk about the word so come on over here and take a look at this we are in John 1 and we're going to read verses 1 through 3 so in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God he was with God in the beginning through him all things were made without him nothing was made that has been made in him was life and that life was the light of men the light shines in the darkness but the darkness has not understood it what in the world does that mean well who's uh, John first of all John was actually one of Jesus's disciples what does that mean well John was an eyewitness to it all he knew Jesus he talked to Jesus he saw it I mean he was part of it John is telling us here that in verse 1 that Jesus who is also God you must realize this is superior there is no other God you worship that will ever come close zero God created everything God created it all you know that butterfly today changed my whole day I told you that um, I was bummed I was upset the hatchery was closed I was you know upset with myself that I didn't call and check you know I just figured it was gonna be open but that butterfly, those ants, and the fish that that skilled fisherman was catching out there changed my whole perspective and made me think of creation. The water, the trees, the sky, everything around me today was gorgeous. And then I zoomed in on that butterfly. That butterfly was amazing. I, I mean, there was big ants and small ants. The big ants were small, but they were functioning in God's creation and God created them God created it uh, basically not basically literally God created something from nothing think about that for a minute I mean that blows my mind God created the heavens and the earth out of nothing we exist only because he made us and gave us each gifts you know the world sees us as a nobody sees us as nothing God sees us as valuable. Without God, you are nothing. To continue to live without Him is giving up the purpose that He created you for. Ask Him to show you. Ask Him to be the most important, major part of your life. Go ahead. You will love the results. So, thanks for tuning in today. I appreciate it. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a subscribe. Please share with somebody. If you know anybody that uh, is thinking about it, has mentioned, who's God? We're, what's all of this creation stuff about? Show them the video, you know. Point them in the right direction. But if you don't have a relationship with them either, then I would invite you to ask him to show you what he wants you to know and then get in that Bible and open it up and find out. So, again, thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, stay safe and focus on what's real and what matters. See you next time.